Welcome to Ohio Wine TV. I'm your host, David McCrary, and for this episode, we travel down to almost the roots of Ohio's wine history. We're in Southern Ohio, and I don't know if you knew this or not, but it was once known as the wine capital of the world. I'll tell you, it's easy to believe as you stand here among the vines at Valley Vineyards, home to the second largest vineyard in Ohio. I've got with me Kenny, co-owner of Valley Vineyards. Hello, Thanks David. for having us. So you yeah. got a beautiful place here. Tell yes. me a little bit about the history. Oh, the history, uh, about 90 years ago, my great-great-grandfather uh, bought this farm and we were always truck farmers in years past. We raised sweet corn, cantaloupes, tomatoes, strawberries. And in 1969, almost 40 years ago, uh, my father got interested in planting wine grapes with the help of the state of Ohio. Okay. So, uh, and it's it's gone from your dad to you to your son now. Mm -hmm. Well, we're all all three generations are still involved in the business, very much so. So very so. very family run. Oh yeah. So where are we now? First of all, this place is huge. How much land do you have here? Uh, we have about 125 acres here on the farm, and uh, in grapes, uh, what well, we have about 80 acres in grapes wow. now. And we're planning on uh, planting more next spring. Okay. So. Now you talk about grapes. What grapes are these? here what wines do these make uh, these are Cabernets Cabernets which we make our premium dry red wine out of okay and um, is, now is it yep. okay to t can you try these now? oh sure they? yeah they're safe yeah you're more than welcome really? to try one David skins are very thick and mm -hmm. a little bit of acidity in them no, it's been seeds. Oh yeah. Is it okay oh to yeah, seeds. Put those out is that yeah. the proper technique? Right. <laughs> that's good technique. Well that's good now these yeah. are Cabernet Yes. And you also make uh, Vidal? Vidal Blanc. Vidal. Uh -huh. And where, yes. are, where are those grapes? Uh, they're right next door here, David. You're gonna try? If you'd like to go see them, sure. Let's, let's check those out. So how many wines do you make here at Valley Vineyards? We have 19 different labels, okay. uh, David, with uh, all the different varieties of grapes we grow. And these are the Vidal? These are the Vidal Blanc, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to taste one? Oh yes, very right. much so. Totally different taste. Mm-hmm. Let's put another seat out. <laughs> So what wines do you make from this? I mean, the Vidal? Well, we make two different varieties out of this one grape. Uh, Vidal Blanc, which is our Germanic style white wine. Okay. And we also make our ice wine. Oh, see, that's my favorite. Which I really believe Ohio has great potential to produce world-class ice wines. Well, it's still, and it still blows my mind that this little grape makes such great wine. Mm -hmm. You know, I, uh, I'd love to see how it's done. Can and, we do that? And we can go and see Greg, the winemaker, downstairs. He'd be more than glad to show you how it's done. Let's go. It's going to take a while to get back there. All right. It's a long walk. <laughs> All right. Greg. How you doing? Hi, David. I'm out of breath. That's a long walk Nice to the meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. It's a little ways in there. Yeah. What is this thing? This is a grape press here. Technically, it's a bladder press, um, which means that it has a, a, a big rubber bladder that runs through the center of it. Okay. Um, once we fill this up with grapes here, which is what we're doing right now here, uh -huh. we'll, uh, we'll close this whole press down, and then we'll inflate that bladder with air pressure. Okay. And that'll press all the juice out through this basket here. Gotcha. And it'll fall down into the tray below and we'll pump that into the winery. Okay. So now how much, if this thing is full, how many gallons you of wine have, can you get from it? Well, you have four tons of grapes in there. So wow. you're talking 600, 650 gallons. Okay. So that's, a, that's mm -hmm. you get quite a bit from one press. It's a fair amount there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's the rice? The rice holes are for, it's a, what's called a press aid. Um, and when you're pressing these grapes out, you form a cake with all the skins and the rice holes create little channels for the juice to actually run out. Okay. So you use less pressure, uh, you know, to press the grapes. Plus it prevents the grapes from sticking on the outside of the press there. Very nice. Or the inside of the press. So from here it goes to barrels? 
Uh, pretty much it goes into tanks and then it'll be settled. Okay. And then after that, it'll either go into stainless steel tanks or the barrels. Can we go One check those two. out? We can check those out. Let's yeah. go take a look. Mm -hmm. Okay, now when I think winery, this is what I picture, a bunch of oak barrels. <laughs> so what do we have, what do we have over here? We have uh, some Cabernet Franc from 2006. Okay. Uh, so 2006? 2006? 2006 is when they were harvested there. That's so it's been sitting in these barrels for two years? Correct. Is, yeah. that, is that average or is it, how long does it take from the press to the barrels? Well, depending on the vintage, uh, anywhere from a year to two years. Okay. Uh, it depends on how much fruit you have in the wine to begin with. Gotcha. To how much oak it'll take, you know. You okay. use oak barrels as like a spice. Okay. It's like a chef would use a spice. Thanks, sir. And who is this? This is Kyle. Hey, Kyle. How you doing? Oh, pretty good. Yeah. I have the best jar here, so. <laughs> and this is, uh, this is a Cabernet. Cabernet Franc. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then you swirl it. And What do you think? That's good. That's good. Out, right out of the barrel. Mm -hmm. That's that's impressive. Now, so I tried the, the Cabernet grape out there, but I also tried the Vidal grape out in the vineyard. Is there any place I can try those? Yeah. Joe will have some Vidal chilled and you know, ready to taste upstairs. Upstairs? Sure. Yeah. All right. I'm going to finish this off on the way up there. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank very you. much. See you, guys. Hey, Joe. Hey, David. How's it going? Pretty good. Good. Hey, I was just out in the vineyard a little earlier. Tried the Vidal grapes, mm -hmm. and it still blows my mind that you can get two totally different wines from the same grape. Right. Vidal Blanc and then ice wine of Vidal Blanc. Now, is it because of the time you pick the grape that makes them so different? Correct. Vidal, this one right here is uh, harvested in mid-October. The ice wine is harvested uh, in mid-December when the grapes are frozen. Okay. And, and that, pressed when they're frozen. Is that why it's a sweeter wine? Right. They're frozen, brought in, and pressed frozen. So all of the water stays in the press. We press out the sugar itself. Well, I say we try them. Okay. I'll pour the ice wine. And I'll pour the Vidal. Sounds good. So I may pour too much of the ice wine. I like it a lot. That's all right. Me too. All right. So which one do you want to try? Which one are we trying first? Let's do the standard Vidal first. Okay. Vidal is a very crisp German style wine. Uh, it's fermented and aged in stainless steel tanks. So it's very citrusy, crisp, uh, very light. All right. Enjoy. See, I wasn't exactly sure what you meant when you said light, but I, that is light. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. It's light, but it's still full of flavor. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. As good as that is, I say we get into the ice wine too. Okay. Like I said, it's my favorite. All right. This is Vidal Blanc ice wine. It's much heavier, uh, much sweeter. It's definitely a dessert wine. Um, we were the first ones in Ohio to start producing this back in 92. Oh, okay. So it's something that we're really well known for. So nice. try it. Tell me what you think. That's my thing right there. <laughs> I like the sweet wine. That's good. Good. Listen, I'm going to finish that off, probably finish this good. off. But thank you very much for having us, Joe. Thank you. It's been a blast. Love your winery. And uh, I'll be back many times. Great. Thank you. So if you're ready to visit one of Ohio's heritage wineries, Valley Vineyards is a must-see. It's just, you've got to be here to experience and just drink in the beauty of the valley. Cincinnati's nearby. Kings Island Amusement Park is just right down the road. You've got Great Wolf Lodge, Cincinnati Reds, the Bengals. It's just a great place to be. As usual, below, click on the resources for more information. Until next time, I'm David McCrary. Here's a toast to you and great Ohio wine.